The industrial workers of the world have a long history of organizing fast food workers from Jimmy John's in the Twin Cities to Starbucks in New York. We've drawn inspiration from the Fight for 15 nationwide to take it a step farther, a leap farther, and organize a union with fast food workers. I want to make it clear to you that you're already a union. Mm -hmm. yeah. The moment you decided to act collectively to solve your problems, you are a union. We understand that we are living within a system where people cannot get their basic needs met, where they can work 40 hours a week and not afford housing or food or medical care, and that is unacceptable. And, and, and I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a little scared. But I know we can win. Because I'm not standing up here alone. I'm standing here with my coworkers. Very moment, workers in the Pacific Northwest are presenting their demands to corporate. They're coming out to their bosses, revealing their union, and beginning their fight to build a voice and build worker power from within the company. Hi. Uh, I'm Jordan. Hi, Tisa. Tisa. Uh -huh. I'm Ellie. Nice Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh. Ellie. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Uh, so we work at Burwell 38, and okay. we're here representing the Burwell Workers Union. I've been working for Burwell for six months now. I used to work in a different industry where I was paid a living wage, but I got hurt on the job, and I was no longer able to physically do the work. Uh, so my only option now is food service, uh, but like people often don't realize how physically demanding and uh, fast-paced our job is. Uh, and every every day is a struggle for me physically, honestly, like with my injury. Mm -hmm. And uh, I work 40 plus hours a week, often over nine hour days. And uh, by the end of the day, my body hurts. By the end of the week, sometimes the pain's like unbearable. But at 9.47 an hour, like I have to work 40 plus hours a week or like I cannot pay my bills. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, like it's unacceptable to me that Burgerville is making a profit off of the work that I'm doing while um, I'm struggling to get by physically and financially. We're here supporting these workers today because we think that people need to be valued in their jobs, need to be making a living wage, need to have control over their schedules. These are people within our community, within your community. And we think that we can turn out people with these workers the whole time to support them because this is a community issue at a local organization, local company that we all love to support. And we want Oregon and the Pacific Northwest to be a leader in workers' rights. We also stand up for workers for dignity and just compensation for the hard, dedicated work they do. We believe that's a fundamental right of all workers to be able to provide for themselves. I just have one thing to say. I think that, uh, that workers give their lives, mm -hmm. really, that part of their lives which they have for their support and everything, to the, the company. and. Uh, in return that they should be they should be, be given as much as they can be given and uh, and certainly it shouldn't be less than what that covers their needs Union power! who got the power we got the power what kind of power Union power who got the power we got the power what kind of power Union power who got the power we got the power what kind of power Union power who got the power bring a letter letting our general manager know and letting corporate know that we have formed the Burgerville Workers Union. Yeah. Yeah. We matter. Yeah. We, yeah. we want a raise. Yeah. We deserve one. Yeah. This is a letter that explains our vision. Okay. We expect you guys not to retaliate against us and know that we have the right under federal labor law to organize and come together as workers, and we look forward to negotiating with you. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here today because such a wealthy business to pay their workers poverty wages is unacceptable. So I stand in solidarity, unwavering with people who deserve a living wage. Your change that you put it in the tip draw because they don't pay their workers enough. So right now, 
we have this tip jar here as a way to take care of them in a way that they don't. So please put all this money, all this money, all this money in the tip jar. We talked to our general manager and we talked to several people from corporate headquarters in Vancouver um, and we let them know that we formed the Burger Workers Union um, because we matter, we work hard.